Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are going to be making slow cooker chicken noodles. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. Those plump, yummy noodles and the chicken. Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are going to be cooking one of Chris's dishes, slow cooker chicken noodles. And it is super easy, super yummy, and like, one of those ultimate comfort food recipes. So let's get to it. Anyway, we got two and a half pounds of chicken in here. Since how my kitchen is set up, I can't film near my sink, I went ahead and put my chicken in the bottom of my six quart slow cooker so that I could um, not have to put it in and then go wash my hands and then come back. So you're also going to have eight cups of chicken broth. You're gonna have a teaspoon and a half of poultry seasoning, seasoning, season, 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 and black pepper, and um, a little bit of salt, and then 24 ounces of egg noodles. Now these we will not be using right now. We'll be using those later, but um, I had them out here since I had all my ingredients out. Now my store, these are frozen egg noodles. Um, Reams is the brand that we love. They are not sponsoring this, we just love Reams. And um, my store only carries 12 ounce bags. They may come in 24 ounce bags, I'm not sure. Mine just only carries 12 ounces, so I just get two bags. So anyway, so I've got my chicken in here. Now I'm going to sprinkle lightly, excuse me, with salt, because there's salt in the other ingredients, so we don't want to have too much. You can always add more salt later if there's not enough and just a little bit of black pepper. Now if this were my husband, he would cover this up. So just do it how you want. He salt, or he peppers his like um, plate at dinner so hard, or so, so hard, so, so much that I can be across the table from him and it still makes me sneeze. I, I don't, I don't deal well with pepper but he loves it, so do that as your preference. Now we need a teaspoon and a half of this. So there's, we're just gonna sprinkle it all around. There's a half a teaspoon. There's one full teaspoon and a half. Dun, dun, dun. And then we are going to put in, these are 32 ounce cartons. Um, I think most stores have them. I think some even have like a 64 ounce. So it's just gonna be um, a cup equals eight fluid ounces. So um, a 32 ounce is four cups. So you'll just need eight cups. So 64 ounces total. We're just gonna pour this in gently. I make sure it doesn't splash that seasoning up on the side of my crock pot. I want the seasoning in with my chicken. And then one more. Oh, 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 we're splattering. No! Calm down there, broth. Chris said use either boneless skinless chicken thighs or boneless skinless chicken breast and then cover and cook for three to four hours on high however my store had tenderloins on sale so chicken tenderloins um, or chicken tenders sorry um, and so we um, we bought the chicken tenders and so they're gonna cook up a little bit faster so you know if you have chicken tenders it's gonna be more like two and a half to three hours probably, depending on your slow cooker. And if you have 
thighs, which are a little bit thicker, bigger, you're gonna be closer to that three hour mark. And then of course chicken breasts are bigger still. So that would be closer to the four. So it all depends on your unit, your slow cooker or crock pot unit, and also your um, size of chicken that you're using. So anyway, we will be back to um, shred our chicken in three, two, and we're back. And so with um, me using chicken tenders instead of chicken breast or chicken thighs, then my chicken was done a lot faster. Like it was between two and two and a half hours. So pretty much where I thought it'd be. So I just stuck a couple forks in there and tried to shred one apart and it shredded beautifully. So now we're just going to remove the chicken and I'm gonna shred it with two forks real quick. Now again, if you are using a larger piece of meat, like a chicken breast, it will take a longer time for that chicken to cook up. And it does depend on your specific unit. Like this is the one, if you guys have ever read any of my posts where I talk about Sir Hamilton, this is Sir Hamilton. I know I've used this crock pot for probably hundreds of recipes, like literally hundreds of recipes because it is my favorite. It's my, I know exactly how it's gonna cook and it's not going to send me surprises kind of crock pot. Like I, I'm honed in on this one. So I like to use it so that um, on recipes a lot, just because I know, I know exactly how it works. Now I have some others that I use quite a bit, but um, this is my like, just go to it's kind of like my comfort crock pot because <laughs> I just love it and it um, it makes it just makes recipes easier because I know like how it's gonna work now you can um, shred this with two forks or you can use a mixer um, I know there's some other shows where Mikey and I use a mixer however I don't have a real handy outlet over here um, and so I'm just gonna use two forks. Mikey you can fast forward this part. <laughs> going to put it right back into the crock pot trying not to splash too much but you know I'm gonna oopsie and if you um, can see I don't know if you can see or not on the tablecloth I, I got a little messy and threw some chicken in the process oopsie so gonna get all that chicken back down in the broth take the noodles plop them in all 24 ounces because you're going to want each and every noodle to be in there and then I'm going to stir them in get them all spread out through the broth and then I'm going to push them down into the broth so nothing's sticking up so that way they can cook up real nice and neat so then I'm going to cover and cook on high again for another 60 to 90 minutes and we'll be back to have some yummy chicken noodles in three two and we're back again and so it was an hour, I know, in my trusty Sir Hamilton that, oh, and this is an insulated exterior, so that's why I can touch it and not burn myself like Mikey does all the time. And, um, but anyway, so just thought I'd put that out there so you don't think I'm like crazy with like superhuman hands that can touch incredibly hot crock pots or the, the outside of normal crock pots aren't extremely hot because they will burn you. So little PSA for the day. Um, so an hour I did stir it with about 20 minutes left in the hour just because I'm always I'm always worried about that kind of thing so if you can stir it that'd be great um, if not I'm sure it will be fine but now just that lid comes off and it smells so good but we are going to take this Stir it up again, and get me some in a bowl. I 
I'm serving it with a ladle because I like the juices. If you don't like the juices, then serve it with a slotted spoon. You do you. All right. Let's show you what we got. Oh, let me see if I can, oh, there, the white balance came out. All right, can you see it? Those plump, yummy noodles and the chicken juices. Let's give it a try. Got to squat down. Whew. I didn't give that long enough. Whew. That was really, really hot. But really, really tasty. You, It's just comfort food. It's chicken noodles. You got the savory and a little bit of salt and it's just, it all comes together beautifully. I'm gonna go back over there. So if you're looking for an easy way to make some absolutely amazing chicken noodles, this right here. It's, it's quick, it's easy, it'd be great if you have a family member who isn't feeling well, you can make up a big batch of this and it will just soothe their soul while they're healing up. If you like this recipe give it a, a thumbs up down below and if you're not a member of our wonderful crop posse family hit the subscribe button and join us and if you would like to see every time we put up a new video hit the button called the tingling and no matter what you do laugh often eat good food and speak good bye if you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon link below.